I picked up this generator recently for pretty inexpensive and uh, I pass it along to a friend for the same cost of which I purchased it but before I give it to him I'm gonna do some basic generator maintenance it's currently in running condition I did drain the tank as you can see it's open because I have an SUV and I don't want it to um, fuel fumes into the air while I'm driving <clears throat> and uh, anyway so there's some basic things I'm going to do I'm going to this thing like I said is since it's in running condition I'm not going to put a new spark plug in it I'm just going to take the spark plug out of here which is indicated there every generator is different this one's pretty obvious I did disconnect the the fuel line to totally empty the tank but that said I'm going to replace the fuel line with new fuel line and I'm going to put in a shutoff and a filter and what I'm going to do also is I'll put a link in the description to these items if you're looking to do basic general maintenance a small engine it's always good to have a fuel shutoff and a filter that way you're not completely reliant on the carburetor bowl as your only defense from gasoline seeping into the motor oil uh, when it's not in use so if you use a shutoff you're you're you have redundancy you know you you're stopping the fuel from going into the carburetor altogether you can run it out by shutting the fuel off and letting the machine run out and then you don't have to worry about it varnishing inside of the uh, carburetor when it's not in use furthermore when I do put some fuel in and give it to them, I've got this true fuel, which is criminally expensive for what it is, but it's ethanol free. And that will assure that that'll lessen the likelihood of having issues going forward. So this is the fuel shutoff I was talking about. You can get them in packs of 10 at Amazon. Same with the fuel filters. These don't have a particular direction. There's, you can't see through here, but there's a screen. Let's see if you can. There's a screen inside of there. So it's not the best filter, but it doesn't restrict flow and stop the fuel from working, which I've had problems with before on different small engines and uh, that's just enough to stop debris from going through to give you a peace of mind that you're not going to clog a jet in your carburetor but it's not so much that your machine will start choking out or failing on you <clears throat> but speaking of the carburetor as i said this thing is uh working fine i just put a piece of tape over here while i had the the fuel hose off so nothing would get inside of there but I'll post a link to a video. You can actually clean a carburetor without tearing it apart by using a uh, container and white vinegar. And like I said, I'll post a link to that video. Now, I don't have the best luck when it comes to taking little things apart, like a fishing reel or something. You know, I take the cover off and springs go flying everywhere. Carburetors usually aren't that much different. Uh, so somebody taught me, my friend uh, Mike Steen actually, a technique where you use clear ammonia. I put that in a, uh, a coffee cup thing and overnight I let the bits and pieces soak. It's a great method. It's not a hundred percent but it's pretty darn close.
lastly, I'm going to change the oil and uh, <clears throat> this appears to be the drain and this is the check oil here. Uh, sometimes these are square and as you see this is like a, a nut. Um, yeah, every like I said, every generator is different. This is what uh, how this one drains. Another thing I figured I'd share with you that now this isn't a uh, a hard and fast rule, but in general, generators that you know there's a dipstick here, but in general you you literally fill up the oil all the way. It doesn't almost doesn't allow you to overflow because of the angle which it comes in and your oil level will be here so when your dipstick goes in it'll be at full. get some light on that I'll show you what I'm talking about regarding knowing when you've put in enough oil on these and like I said as long as you don't force it in and just go with what it's uh, where it where it overflows that almost prevents you from putting too much oil in kind of like the rear differential of a motor vehicle uh, a car you know you fill it up till it's level with the top hole and with a boat on the lower end you know that it lets you know when it's full you you almost can't overfill it uh, you could if you tried forcing it uh, <clears throat> with the funnel and things but if you just let it tell you it will tell you okay that's it for this video that's a real quick polishing of this turd now when my friend gets it he'll have the fuel shut off and a filter won't have to worry about that it'll be filled with ethanol free fuel upon arrival spark plug has been looked over it was a uh, it wasn't oily and dirty and it didn't look like it was burning too lean so that's been sanded a little bit to assure that the spark will be strong and the fuel uh sorry the oil change uh the cool thing about this is it came with this dc adapter or a um, plug which allows you to charge car batteries so should you have a, a battery issue for whatever reason you know you can use that as your charger thanks for watching